So now it should work. What a mess again. I'm sorry if you had to um, change this um, stream, but now it should work everything. And let's go in immediately. Nice. All right, here we are um, with the first question out of 30. Oh, wait one second again. So, but this time everything should work. So now here we go. So let's start with the first movie. All right, we are driving um, with 40 kilometers an hour and we have a blue car in front of us. And dun, dun, dun. we are on a priority road. We want to turn left and ooh, a lot of things going on. There was the white car coming from the right. There was the bicycle in front of us and there was the metro or yes the the train coming from straight ahead towards us so let's have a look we are why are you required to stop now because of the tram yes we are on a priority road but however we want to turn left and that's why we have to let this um tram pass first because of the cyclist is not necessary, he's already far away in front of us and because of the white car is not correct as well because he is from the right and we are on a priority road so in that case he has to wait. So the only correct answer is the first one. All right, let's go. Please start the film. Yes, let's do it. All right, we have bad conditions on the road. We are driving 40 kilometers per hour and there is a small motorbike in front of us. We are getting close to an tram or oh no, no train crossing and we are closer than 240 meters. Yeah, you saw it with the signs on the right. Um, when you see this white sign with red stripes on it, it means every stripe means in 80 kilometers you're getting closer to it. So with three stripes we are 240 meters in front of the train crossing and let's have a, a look what is the right cause of action here I may not overtake the moped before the rail crossing yes because inside of this range I talked about it this 240 meters marked by that white signs you're not allowed to overtake no one anymore so we are not allowed to overtake him. Overtake the moped while allowing sufficient space to the side? No. Overtake the moped before the rail crossing once the cyclist is out of the way. No, as well. It's just the first one. All right. Let's go on with the next movie. We are driving 40 kilometers per hour right now. And yes, we are on a priority road. Yeah, we see the sign on the right. And there comes a motorcycle from the left. I hope you saw it, yeah? That was speeding up. We are on a priority road. However, um, I would say he's taking our priority. So let's go to the questions. Why are you required to brake now? Because of the motorbike? Because of the van? because of the cyclist well the right answer in that case is because of the motorbike even if we have priority he's not stopping he's about to enter he's right now behind the van and if we don't stop we probably have an accident with him so that's the only correct answer all right let's start the next movie we are on a priority road again. We saw it in the last second. However, we have some tram rails on our left. On the right is a bicycle and we want to turn right. And in front is a pedestrian about to cross. So let's go to the question. Why do you have to wait before turning right? Because of the pedestrian? Because of the cyclist? Because of the black car? Hmm, well, that is quite clear. We are on a priority road, we want to turn right, so we have to let all coming or all 
pedestrians, cyclists, whatever, which is moving, which is following the priority road. We are about to cross them, so we have to give the priority to these folks. So because of the pedestrian, because of the cyclist behind of it, and because of the black car, no, it's not necessary. We are not crossing his way. Actually, if he wants to turn in that road, he has to cross our way. So we don't have to wait for the black car. The first two answers are correct. All right, let's watch the next movie. We are about to drive 70 and we are driving 70. And we are on a landscape road coming close to a roundabout. And inside of the roundabout is already a blue vehicle. All right, let's go to the question. What must you be aware of here? I have to indicate when entering the roundabout, continue to brake, give the car right of way. Well, when do you have to indicate when you enter a roundabout or when you leave a roundabout in Germany? It is always when you leave a roundabout because if you enter it's totally clear where you go in a roundabout you're just allowed to turn right however if you leave it's not that clear which exit you might choose so therefore you have to indicate and that's why entering you don't indicate and leaving a roundabout you have to so i have to indicate when entering the roundabout is the wrong answer Continue to break, yes, because the blue car inside the roundabout has priority and we have to slow down to give him priority before we enter. And that's why give the car right of way is the correct answer as well. Nice. All right, let's go ahead. You want to turn left. What driving line should you maintain? All right, uh, we want to turn left and we have several lanes possible one closely to the left one in the middle and one behind the parking car on the right hand side which one would you choose left middle or right to turn left well the crucial factor in that case is the sign on the right hand top that one do you know what it means it means that it's a one-way street and there is no incoming traffic. In that case, you have to stay as possible on the left -hand side um, to make it easier to turn left. And because there might be any risk that someone is coming and you're on the wrong way because it's a one-way street. So you have to stay on the left -hand side. Let's close it. You want to turn left. What driving line should you maintain? The right hand one, the left hand one, the central one. So according to what I've said, it's definitely the left hand one, according to the one way street sign. Nice. All right. The cyclist wants to continue straight ahead. What is the right course of action here? I overtake the cyclist, I remain behind the cyclist. All right, let's have a look. We want to turn right and we see here on the right hand side the cyclist and we are on the priority road turning to the right. So actually we are following the priority. However, should we overtake the bicycle or should we stay behind? Well, the best answer and the only correct one is remain behind the cyclist the last option because if not it might be very very risky if you right now start to overtake the cyclist then turn right and the cyclist just want to go straight ahead we might have an accident and that's why it's the second answer nice all right let's check out the next movie we are driving with around 50 kilometers per hour we have a priority road and we want to turn left. There comes a truck and behind the truck is a motorcycle. All right, let's go to the question. Why must you wait before taking a turn in this situation? Because of the pedestrian? Because of the motorbike? Because of the truck? Hmm. 
there were pedestrians, but actually there were no pedestrians in that moment to cross the road on the left hand side. So that one is not a correct answer, but because of the motorbike, which is behind the truck and because of the truck, both of them are following the priority road as well towards us and we are about to cross them. Exactly, two and three, Arslan. Very nice. Um, I'm happy that you found me. I had some issues at the beginning and I had to restart the stream. But here we go. Nice. All right. Who has to indicate in this situation? All right, let's have a look. We are driving 30 kilometers per hour. We're getting to a junction, which according to the sign is the priority road is turning left. However, remember, if you follow the priority road, it doesn't matter if you indicate or not. You have to indicate because you are turning. So it doesn't matter if you follow a priority road or not. It's the case that you turn. So if you turn, you indicate in that direction you're turning. So let's have a look to the question, keeping that in mind. Who has to indicate in this situation? The blue car? The red car or me? All right, who is turning right now is the question. So the blue car is not following his direction. He's turning to the right from his perspective. So from us, he's turning left. So he has to indicate. The red car is going straight ahead. Exactly, and that's why we don't put that answer. And we are turning left. So we have to indicate too. Nice, exactly, that's the correct answer, one and three. Good. All right, ready for the next movie? Let's go. All right, we're driving 60. We're allowed to drive 70. Behind of us is a motorcycle and in front of us is a truck. And we've got now two lanes and we want to turn left. Uh, have you seen the motorcycle at the end? Let's start it again. We remember at the end there were two lanes and we wanted to turn left into the left and lane. However, check the motorcycle now. Okay. And you see the motorcycle is faster than us. He's already inside the left and lane. All right, let's go to the question. What is the right course of action now? I continue on the right hand lane for now. I move without delay into the left hand lane. I break. Hmm. So I continue on the right hand lane for now is a good decision because on the left hand side is already the motor bicycle driver and or the bicycle, yeah, motor bicycle. And we might hit him if we change right now. So yeah, it might be possible to move with our I move without delay into the left and hand. No, you shouldn't do that. I brake so I can get a bit slower that the motorcycle can pass and then I can merge into the left. So one and three. Exactly. All right, let's go ahead with the next question. We are driving around 45 kilometers per hour. Some cars around us. And we are about to turn left. We have a green traffic light. Okay. Let's go to the question. Well, have you seen the cars in front? Let's go to the question. We can see it here. So there's a green car, a red car, which is turning to the left from his perspective. And behind of it is a yellow car which is probably going straight. All right. Why are you not allowed to take the turn now? Because of the red vehicle? Because of the green car? Because of the yellow car? Keep in mind, the question was, why are you not allowed to take the turn now? So the red vehicle you could pass in front of him and he can pass. The rule says that both can pass in front of each other. So that's why you don't have to wait. 
the green car doesn't matter to us he's going straight ahead and we want to turn left so the only answer is the yellow car because he wants to go straight ahead we are crossing him and that's why we have to give him priority exactly it's free again nice all right please start the film in order to familiarize yourself with the situation all right we're driving again 50 we want to change a lane yeah an helicopter but better check on the on the street below traffic light is green we want to turn left and whoa there's a lot of going on that was quite fast all right i would recommend to check it once again start the film so we change the lane we know we have got green and now check forward we have a normal traffic light so if we turn green the coming traffic has green as well there is a bus a blue car and a pedestrian and the bus was about to stop at the bus station that the people which were already waiting are able to get in and the blue car probably just overtakes the bus we don't know if he wants to turn or if he wants to go straight ahead so let's see go to the question what must you anticipate in this situation the pedestrian will wait the blue car will drive straight onwards the red bus will begin to move immediately a tricky one so let's do it step by step what must you anticipate in this situation the best pedestrian will wait no i don't think so he has green too we had green he is as well uh, passing this um, junction and he is green as well so he probably won't wait so that's not a correct answer the blue car will drive straight onwards yes that might be possible even if he's right now on the left hand side however we said the bus is stopping and that's why he's maybe just turning around and then going back to this lane which could be possible so we don't know um the glue car will drive straight onwards might be possible the red bus will begin to move immediately I think the important word is immediately right now he's stopping to let the people in so immediately he won't start so the only answer is two in that situation nice very good Arslan that was not an easy one all right let's go ahead all right we are driving 50 kilometers per hour we have an e-scooter on the right hand side we want to turn right and we are on a priority road and yeah there was the tram stopping but i think that was not that important and there came a yellow car from the right okay let's go to the question why are you required to stop now because of the tram hmm. because of the electric scooter because of the pedestrian there were pedestrians let's have a look okay but they are far away i think they're not important right now so why are you required to stop now because of the tram no because of the electric scooter yes because he's right now in the dead anger and um we have to let him pass first because he's following as well the priority road and we are crossing him because of the pedestrian no they are far away exactly just the second answer is correct nice all right let's start the next film we are driving around 50. there is a pedestrian on the right hand side we want to turn right and check in front difficult to see but there was a electric scooter as well yeah if we go to the question and we make it a little bit bigger there we see him in the middle next to this traffic light or yes there he is all right let's close it what is the right course of action now i allow the cyclist to pass through i glance over my right shoulder i take the turn ahead of the electric scooter 
So I allow the cyclist to pass through is a good idea because he has priority. I glance over my right shoulder. Yes, the famous shoulder blick. Yeah, you check the blind spot on your right if the bicycle is really, really away and it is totally free. And I take the turn ahead of the electric scooter. No, he has priority as well. So we have to let him pass as well. One and two is the correct answer. Yes, nice. Okay, you want to turn out of a road with a sunken curbstone into another road. A car is coming from the left. What applies here? Hmm, okay. The sunken curbstone is of no relevance of the obligation to wait or for the obligation to wait. Whoever turns into a road over a sunken curbstone must wait. The rule right before left. Okay. You have taken your decision. I will show you something. Let's see if I can open it. No, not here. That was not the thing what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can get this in. There we have it. This is a sunken, whatever they curb. So when you are coming towards us and you're coming from that road, you have to give priority. So when we are turning from the right to left, we can go on and the one who's coming from that road has to give priority always when you have this type of street or curb. So let's go on here. You want to turn out of a road with a sunken curb stone into another road. A car is coming from the left. What applies here? The sunken curb stone is of no relevance for the obligation to wait. That's not correct. It is relevant. Whoever turns into a road over a sunken curb stone must wait is correct. And the rule right before left does not apply here. So it's just the second answer. All right. What must you do when you when leaving the edge of the roadway? Switch on your direction indicator. A look into the rear view mirror is sufficient. Check for traffic from behind. Okay, we are in a parking position, maybe in a parking lot, and we want to drive out into the normal traffic of the road again. So in that case, before you merge in, you have to check that there is, oh, wait, this side, that there is no coming traffic. So that's why first about, we have to switch the indicator to tell everyone that we are about to leave our position. It is not enough to just check the rear view mirror. You have to check the blind spot as well and therefore apply the shoulder blick and check traffic from behind is important as well. So one and three is correct. Nice, yes, I saw it, you've got it correct as well. Good. You want to leave a traffic calming zone and begin driving along a road. What should you do? All right, I have to indicate the direction of movement prior to taking the turn. I have to observe the right before left rule. I have to allow pedestrians on the fourth path to walk past. So you are actually in a traffic calming zone. That is um, a zone where you are just allowed to drive walking speed and it's indicated through a sign which is blue and has uh, um, some child's playing um, with a ball and a car is appearing in the house. So it's a, it's a rectangular sign, blue with white markings on it. So if you leave this area, you have to indicate the direction of movement. That's correct. You have to tell everyone where you want to go. Observe the right before left rule. No, that's not correct. If you want to leave this traffic calming zone, you have to give everyone else, um, how you say, the right of way 
because you're coming from such an area where you're just allowed to drive walking speed that everyone else is faster and well however you want to explain is the rule is if you leave the traffic calming zone you have to give everyone else priority and you're not um you don't follow right before left so that's not the correct answer allow pedestrians on the fourth plant fourth pa path to walk past is correct so the first and the last question but not in the middle all right you want to leave a traffic calming zone and begin driving along a road cyclists are approaching from the left who is required to wait so keep in mind what i've said before regarding this traffic calming zone everyone is required to stop and then agree among one another who should proceed first i have to wait the cyclist have to wait so taking into account that coming out of a traffic calming zone you have to give priority it is quite obviously in that case it is just the second one exactly everyone is required to stop no i have to wait and the cyclist no you have to give the cyclist permission even if he's from the left it doesn't matter we have to give the way to everyone else nice all right you want to leave a property lot and turn right into a road cyclists are approaching from the left who is required to wait i have to wait the cyclists have to wait the cyclists have to wait everyone is required to stop and then agree among one another who should proceed first well this is not the special zone from the question before but it's similar if you are coming from a property lot you have to give priority as well to everyone else and the rule right before left does not apply you have to give everyone else including cyclists pedestrians and cars priority so in that case it's the first one exactly i have to wait cyclists don't have to wait and everyone required to stop no it's just the first answer nice all right you want to leave a property lot again and turn into a road while passing over a fourth path what must you look out for first take note of the flowing traffic on the road pedestrians on the fourth path may not be endangered you should be directed by another person if necessary all right imagine like that you are on a property lot and it is very difficult probably there is a garage or something like that and you want to go back into the road then it's very difficult to observe what is happening in the road because the vision might be blocked so you can't see pedestrians you can't see cars you have to be very careful so let's see what must you look out for in that situation first take note of the following traffic on the road is not correct the thing is he's saying first imagine you're driving out of your property lot in case you would have an accident you would kill first the pedestrian and then the traffic so because he the pedestrian way is closer to you and you will first cross the pedestrian way and then you enter into the road that's why the first thing what you have to do is check for pedestrians and then for the road and that's why the first answer is not correct pedestrian on the fourth path may not be endangered that's important and yes you can ask someone else to help you so you should be directed by another person if necessary is correct too exactly it's the second and the third answer i think it gets more clearer if we check this question because it's similar now we have a picture you want to exit the property lot what is the right thing to do so we see here we are in the property lot and now you see there are first the pedestrians then comes the road and it's very difficult to have a look around that corner on your right hand side because the vision is blocked and yeah we are indicating and probably the pedestrians do have priority 
So let's have a look. Why you want to exit the property lot? Uh, you want to exit the property lot. What is the right thing to do? I have to wait until the pedestrians have crossed over the exit. I may drive on if the pedestrians wave their right of way. I sound my horn briefly so that the pedestrians will allow me to exit. Pressure them a little bit. Yeah, go faster. Yes, you see, that shouldn't be the correct answer right now. So the first one, I have to wait until the pedestrians have to cross over the exit is correct. I may drive on if the pedestrian wave their right of way. Say, yes, if the granny says, come on, you can go and I will wait. And it's clear that she's giving you the permission to go. You're allowed to go. So the second one is correct as well. And pressuring elderly people, however, pressuring anyone is never, ever correct in this type of exam. So you shouldn't activate the last option. So just the first two are correct. All right, you want to exit a parking space and move into the moving traffic. What should you do? We are parked and we want to go on and start over entering into the road on our side. You may not endanger the moving traffic. I have to indicate before moving off. I have to take note of the traffic behind me. I might not endanger the moving traffic. That's a good idea. You should not endanger anyone. I have to indicate yes. And I have to take note of the traffic behind me. Yes, that's important too. So all of the three are correct. Nice. This one is correct, Arslan. Good. Let's go on. Which are the areas you must not drive into when there is traffic congestion? So we have a traffic jam and right now the question is which type of um, traffic situation we are not allowed to block. So driveways, crossroads and level crossings. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. So I have to check the German one. I'm sorry. Give me one second because of the vocabulary. Okay, so driveways is like if you come from a property lot. So this you can actually block. You have priority and the one who is coming from a driveway has to wait. So you don't have to leave that open. Crossroads, there might be apply right before left so or other routes. So yes, we have to leave them open. Um... And level crossings, obviously, as well. Yeah, if the train is coming and um, or tram and you're in the middle of it, it might be our last journey inside of our car. So the last two answers are correct. All right. What do you do? OK, let's have a look. Mm, we are driving around 20 and in front of us is a bridge and the space is quite narrow. We have a sign on the right and which the sign, probably the sign is the important thing to take care right now because it's telling us the way of right. Red is always the one who has to wait. So in that case, our direction has to wait. So we have to wait in case that there's coming traffic because the coming traffic is allowed to go first both won't make it at the same time. So let's have a look. What do you do? Speed up and proceed since the oncoming traffic must wait. Reduce speed and if necessary, stop. Proceed pulling over onto the pavement. Well, I think there's just one answer correct. Speed up is definitely not a good idea. Reduce speed and if necessary stop is the right conduct and proceed pulling over onto the pavement is not correct. So it's just the second answer. Nice. During traffic congestion, what parts of the road infrastructure must be kept clear? Bus stops, traffic confluences, 
pedestrian crossings. Uh, it's similar to the questions we had before. Yeah, During traffic congestion, what part of the road infrastructure must be kept clear? Bus stops? Mm, I will leave it open. Traffic confluences and pedestrian crossings. These two are correct. A bus stop. If there is no bus, he's probably stuck in the in the traffic congestion as well. There is no need to leave that open. So it's just the two last answers. Yes. All right. Okay. You want to continue driving straight ahead. What is the correct what is correct in this situation? All right, let's have a look. We are driving around 20. We have green, but however, there is um oh, I don't know how to say that in English, but there are it's some something like typical the technical helpers in Germany. They they are called THW, they are blue vans. It's a bit similar to the fire workers. Um, however, they are driving sometimes like military step by step, a lot of vehicle in one unit actually. And in that case, if the first of this unit is passing by green and then the traffic light is turning red for them, they are still allowed to go each after another, even if it's already red for them, because the whole a um, couple of cars are counting as one unit so in that case we have to wait there is no other way even if we've got green so you want to continue driving straight ahead what is the correct in this situation i wait at the stop line i cross over the junction i allow the convoy to pass through okay that's the word i was searching convoy all right so i wait at the stop line is correct I cross over the junction, no, and I allow the convey to pass through is correct too. So it's one and three. Nice. All right. You want to continue driving straight ahead. What is the right course of action? Let's have a look. So we are driving 20. The traffic light is green. We want to go straight ahead according to the question, but in front of us, a car which is waiting to turn left is blocking our way. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, we have a black car which is actually on our way if we want to turn right. Important is that you check the lines um, between our lane and the lane on the right. They are com not a continuous, they are dipped lines. So in that case, we are actually allowed to go and drive around that car in case it's free yeah right now it's not free but in generally it would be allowed all right you want to continue driving straight ahead what is the right course of action i overtake the vehicle alongside me and switch lanes i remain waiting in my lane i move to the right if there is sufficient space in the traffic Two answers are correct. Which ones? I overtake the vehicle alongside me and switch lane is not the correct answer. Yeah, that's a bit risky. So it's the second and the third regarding we have explained in the picture. Nice. All right. Yes, that was good too, Arslan. All right, let's start the movie. Um, we're driving 50. There is a tram, some e-school, no bicycles on the left. We are on priority road and we want to turn left. Ooh. And there was a car, a white car in the middle of the tram rails waiting there to pass. That's not a good idea. Well, however, better check to us. Let's go to the question. What should you do? Stop before the left turn and keep the central divide clear. So central divide means these um, tram tracks probably. Turn smoothly so as not to impede following traffic. 
come to a stop in the central divide whether the other car is stopped. Tram coming behind too, exactly. Yeah, it's like uh, the white car is on a suicide mission. Stop before the left turn and keep the central divide clear. Yes, that is definitely the right thing to do. Turn smoothly as so as not to impede the following traffic. No, come to a stop in the central divide. No, as well. So just the first one. Nice, good. All right, let's go on with the next movie. Mm, we are driving 45 kilometers an hour. There are some fireworks behind of us. And there shows up a sign. It's getting narrow. And there was a bicycle in front of that bridge. So to passing through that bridge, the street is getting more narrow and that's why it's probably difficult to overtake the bicycle there because the bicycle as well has to turn a little bit more into our lane. So let's have a look. What is the right cause of action? Swerve to the left, slow down or accelerate? Swerve to the left, then we might enter into the coming traffic and there were some cars, so that's not a good idea. Slow down, yes, because we are probably faster when we drive 45 than the bicycle. So we have to respect them and slow down. Accelerate is not a good idea. So it's just the second answer. Exactly. All right. Uh, I'm not sure. 97. Yeah, I think that's the last one for today. In which situations are you not allowed to enter a junction even through the traffic light is green? So we are in front of the junction, traffic light is green and however, which situations me might lead that we have to stop in front of the green light and don't follow on. If you would have to stop in the middle of the junction because the traffic is backing up, if asked to stop by a police officer, if the sign stop giveaway is displayed at the junction. Two of these answers are correct. One and two. If I would have to stop in the middle of the junction because the traffic, yes, that would be bad. And if the police officer is saying it, exactly. One and two is correct. Meanwhile, if there is a stop sign, for example, together with a traffic light, this stop sign just counts um, or is valid where in case the traffic sign is out of order doesn't work anymore and in that case you have to follow the sign however if it's green it's working and then the traffic sign has a higher uh, the traffic light has a pri higher priority than the sign and you follow the green light and not listen to the stop sign all right let's solve it and as well that is correct nice we have done it i think this time without any mistake I hope you could learn a lot of things and um, if you like see us tomorrow thanks arslan for joining it's always more fun to do it together than just doing it alone um yeah and see you tomorrow at 8 30 if you like so see you goodbye and thanks for joining